So I'll try to make this short and sweet uh, and not take too much of your time, but I also want to show you tips and tricks when you're getting started on Android with any of these pen tablets support Android. Okay, so first off, Huon versus XP Pen. With Huon, you get a portion of the active area on Android. This is the one thing I really hate about Huon apps. With XP Pen, you get full access to the entire active area. Unfortunately, both of them are locked to portrait mode. So in XP's pen case, if you have a large tablet, you're going to be drawing like this. And there's ways around it, but understand that's, that's what you're getting starting with. And to draw in portrait mode like this on a larger, larger tablet uh, is, is too much. So let's keep that in mind. Okay, so let's talk about how to get around that. So the first thing is uh, all Android devices have orientation lock. Um, at least most of them that I've used. I think there was like maybe one HD Fire that just didn't have it for whatever reason. And that was a really, really old device. So you just go up here, you orientate it lock when you're in portrait mode. That's it. Then you go to your favorite drawing thing and you just rotate it left um, and you rotate your tablet left. And now when you want to draw, uh, left is left and right is right and up is up and down is down. No brainer. Why would you, in this point, I would say like, why would you do this? Why would you do this? Why would I buy a tablet that's one third of the actual tablet for Android? So if you're heavy Android user and you want to definitely use a graphics tablet for your primary drawing purpose, do not choose Huion for that purpose. Get access to your full, what you paid your money for to get. Now, unfortunately, that will mean that UI will be locked to this uh, portrait mode. But for me, it's not, it's not a big deal. I don't mind uh, like going to my brush and scrolling down and choosing that. It's, it's not a, a, a deal breaker. And if, if needed, I can just you know rotate back and rotate as needed. Um, but to know that I can use my full um, tablet active area on Android is a huge selling point. That's why I would choose XP Pen. Now, to credit, um, Huon does have a companion app called the Huon Sketch app. It gives you access to the uh, soft keys and radio buttons. And in, in that, I would say, avoid any tablet that has soft keys or radio buttons if you want to use the buttons. And here's why. Uh, any of these drawing apps support actual support these buttons because... All these buttons actually register as a keyboard press. So like I think like this button on the XP Pen Deco 01 V2 is like Control Shift Z, which in Artflow does absolutely nothing by default. So the benefit is some of these like Artflow and Infinity Painter, which uh, which I really like, um, let you go to settings uh, and then go to shortcuts and you can literally just reassign a bunch of shortcuts. Uh, so I have undo for this one, uh, paint for this one and eraser for that one. You can set it for like um, increasing the brush size, changing the opacity, uh, you know, changing uh, different kind of tools. This is a whole bunch of range of stuff to do. And this still lets you like interact and stuff like that. You can still zoom in and draw like this and then go ahead and erase some and then zoom back out and then do something. Um, it's, it's a good experience regardless of a Huon or XP Pen. It's just, again, the active area for XP Pen is the full active area. You're not just limited to that. Okay. The other thing is, along with these buttons that you can set up, is um, the cursor. So, unfortunately with Samsung, you do need to keep in mind that you need to go through all of these settings. Uh, and this is a twofold. It's not just Samsung, but also pen pressure. You may come in here, you may start drawing, you may not see any pen pressure at all. I'm sorry, I'm on the eraser. You may not see any, any soft and, and hard lines. You may not see any of that. You need to actively go to the settings, go hunt around, for like enable pen pressure or something like that. It's one of these things on all these programs that do that. The other thing is the cursor, which is um, you need to go into one of these settings and it'll say like in, uh, emulate a cursor or something like that. Infinity Painter does this the best where it shows you the, the dots of your of your uh, cursor with like a, uh, uh, like a trigger cursor or something like that. And then it shows the size of the brush that you're doing. And as you put more pressure, it'll grow and, and size like that. So, um, yeah, I mean, there's really not that much else. The only other thing I would say is if you are using a device that is still micro USB, unfortunately, unless it supports wireless charging, you're not going to have a way to charge your device. You're going to be limited to how long your device can stay powered, not just for itself, but also using graphic heavy program and powering this tablet. So uh, if you have USB-C, that's probably the better way to go for these here, um, because if your device actually has a USB-C port, usually you can charge and host um, I, I've never ran into any Android device that is micro USB. 
that lets me be able to host and charge at the same time. So again, you need wireless charging for that. But other than that, there's really not too much to say. Um, you know, if you're looking for Android support and you're, you're a heavy Android user, and this is probably may, this may be the only way you're going to be able to draw is by using an Android device. Go XP Pen. Don't go who you're on. Also, avoid any soft keys and radio buttons. Get the ones with the most actual physical buttons themselves. In terms of how the Huon H320M worked out for me, um, they had a, a ton of, of hard buttons. They had no soft keys, no radio buttons. And it was a good purchase, but it was just being limited to that little area, that little sliver, uh, just wasn't worth it for me. It wasn't, you know, that, that best use of time. And again, if you need, if you want to have access to more buttons, use a keyboard, Bluetooth, or plug it in, use a mouse as needed, and yeah, that's it.